just like that. Obi puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Man just slides through. Oh, he's got a man through a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Obi. What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 20 tutorial on the channel guys. Today we're gonna reopen the discussion about the strafe dribbling, an extremely overpowered way of dribbling in FIFA 20. And before we get started, make sure to smash the like button if you wanna see ASAP on the channel as fast as possible. A tutorial with an easy, easy skill that will help you get past the defender with ease. You know that at the beginning of the game, when uh, the game gets launched, I do a general tutorial about each new feature, about each important feature in the game. Afterwards, uh, I do individual tutorials, again, more in-depth with the things that we discover along the way. This is the case now with the strafe dribbling. First of all, if you're new, if you don't know how to perform it, you have to press and hold L1 on your PlayStation controller or LB on your Xbox One controller and move the left analog. You have the controller in the left bottom side of the screen. Extremely easy for you guys to check it out over there, see exactly how I press, what button I press and when I press that certain button. What I have discovered lately with the strafe dribbling and it's extremely effective, you just have to slightly touch the L1 button. Not always keep it pressed. Only when you wanna drag the ball in another direction, you should press and hold the L1 button on your PlayStation controller or on your Xbox One controller. This is very important, guys, remember it. In online games, the strafe dribbling is most effective when the opponent is rushing at you, in the moment he wants to tackle you. That's the perfect moment to move back or move left or right. Uh, depending from where your opponent is attacking you, what I advise you it is to go in the opposite direction. Uh, that way, guys, you will be able to surprise him, you will be able to get past him. And it's actually really, really easy, you just slightly do the strafe dribbling. You get past him, then you're in a shooting position. Extremely easy to do. It takes a bit of finesse with the fingers, but you get used to it. Another area where it will be very effective to use it is on the wing when you want to cut inside. It puts the ball on your player's dominant foot. I'm gonna have another in-depth tutorial about wing play in which we're gonna talk even more about the strafe dribbling from there on when to use it and how to use it. And you're gonna see how important this type of move is in your attacking game from the wings. Another important uh, aspect of this advanced strafe dribbling is the fact that it opens up the angle for a pass. You have an opponent in front of you, he rushes at you, you do the strafe dribbling but just slightly, one, two, three meters and um, you've cut space. You've changed the angle. You can play a pass to your teammate. There are so many applications of this advanced strafe dribbling. It is incredible. All you have to do, guys, and remember this, is press slightly for a short period of time. The L1 on your PlayStation or LB on your Xbox One. Only while you are moving a bit the left analog. Don't always hold it pressed. You also need to learn the angles when to do it. You've seen in this uh, video a few examples, but best way to learn, guys, is to practice. Go online, not necessarily in Foot Champions, Weekend League or Division Rivals. Play some friendlies, test it there. You will love this move. This will be all for today, guys. Don't forget to drop a like at the video. Thank you for watching. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later.